take a lot of comfort from the energy of the understanding. Yeah. Yeah. But it seemed much more positive. Give you a lot of encouragement. Yeah, I was very pleased and grateful how they responded with the team. I think they generated an atmosphere and a connection between fans and teams that probably for a long time haven't been seen. Um, we have to give them more. We have to convince them that and make them feel that this is the way we want to play. And uh, and hopefully they will be right behind us. Can you ask Leza to do anything different the last two games? Because he, he seems to play the last two games. Mm -hmm. I just want to, I just try to prepare the team collectively and individually with the strengths and weaknesses that we have to avoid the weaknesses and promote as much as possible our our strength. And I think Mesut in those kind of positions is very effective. There's always been a, a perception with Mesut, rightly or wrongly, that he can't play a very sort of energetic, physical game, which, which you seem to want to, to bring mm -hmm. to Arsenal. I assume you think you can get that out of him? That's what I'm hoping, that he can sustain that level every three or four days. Um, he's putting everything he has to try to do that. I think his numbers physically have improved so much as well, and he's willing. That's what I can tell you every day I see in training. Have you been pleasantly surprised by him so far? I know it really was. So I'm not surprised. I know the ability. I know the player we have there. And, and as well, the structure has to help him for him to, to be able to, to take everything that he has inside. Mikel, yeah. results like today's and the manner of, of, the res of, of, of the result can sometimes have a bit of an impact on, on confidence, yeah. given that the team's confidence are really pretty, potentially yeah. pretty low. You've got that's my worry now. Yeah, that they are, absolutely. That they don't that the result doesn't affect them too much, you know, they were all physically blown and uh, and disappointed how the game ended up because they don't feel that they deserve that. But uh, we have to move on. We have another game in three days, a big one as well, and, and they have to respond. This is the challenge now. I know it's only December, but given the league table, is this a must-win given if Arsenal won't have any chance of finishing? Every game for us is a must-win. Against any opponent, we have to win. We are Arsenal, and, and this is the demands. But the level of pressure is different when you look up on the table or down, but um, I wouldn't pay at the moment much attention to the table, but to our performance and the results related to the performance that we can put on the pitch. Last two, Matt. Mikel, you were here two weeks ago at the last home game when Mesut was booed off when he came off mm. and kicked the glove, and yet today he walked off to a standing ovation. Yeah. It turns really quickly. Does he have the ability to lift this whole place on his own? And also almost a responsibility to do that as one of the leading players. On his own, he cannot do it. That's what I was saying, that he needs the collective structure, organisation and his teammates. Nowadays, I think there is only one or two players in the world that can do something on their own. He needs help and, and he needs the team to play in a certain way to facilitate and take his strength more and more every time in the game. And that's what we are trying to do. But sorry, to facilitate that, do you put him in the team first and then build the team that works to his strengths? No. Or is he not that? No, I put him in the team if I see every day that his attitude, his desire, his understanding of what we're trying to do is there and he has a will. And if he's in a better moment than somebody else, I will pick him. The moment that this changes, then he won't play. Mikel, you, you were caught out by a, a very late counter-attack on Portugal mm. today. Obviously, United have been doing that all yeah. from home to, to a lot of teams. Mm. Is that something that you've got to be very, very careful about? Very, but uh, it was in a transition that where we had a bad structure, a bad organisation. When we are defending big spaces on equal numbers or our number, it wasn't the case at all. But uh, yeah, we made one half bad decision and these teams after when it's space, they punish you for sure. But the other option, you know, is defend all the time and, and, and be there and, and we don't want that. Thanks everyone. Yeah, thank you.